Hey guys, for sure straight in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate your iPad Pro first generation on an updated version, which is the latest version on this iPad. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and first by turning it on to power it on. Simply press and hold this button until you see the Apple logo appear just like that on the screen, and that is going to be powering on your iPad. Now, when it's, it's turned on, uh, we're going to go ahead and start the next phase. And if it doesn't turn on, make sure you charge it. Uh, you could charge it like with a regular uh, lightning port on your iPhone or the lightning cable. And now once it's powered on, if it's factory reset already, ready to go, it's going to look like this. All you're going to do is select a language uh, and then you want to select your country here or the region. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, United States for me here. So let's go all the way down here. Right after that, you want to set up manually and then go ahead and pick your Wi-Fi network or you need to connect it to your Mac or PC if you don't have Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and try this one more time here. So it took me back because I was a little slow. So I'm going to go ahead and select my country, set up manually, select here, and then go ahead and enter your password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my Wi-Fi password here. Awesome. Once you enter your password, just click on join here and we're going to go ahead and join. And it says it's going to take a few minutes to activate, but it should be pretty quick. All right, data and privacy, you're going to just hit continue. Now, Touch ID, because the iPad uh, Pro first generation has a Touch ID, you can set it up by hitting continue and then placing your finger. But uh, I'm just not going to do this. You can always set it up later. So go ahead and set it up if you're going to use it and then do that. You want to put a passcode so your iPad is secure or you can simply choose not to have one or you can even choose these other options available. I'm just going to not use one right now just so I can pass the screen. Uh, and then if you have a backup from another iPad or another uh, backup on your computer, you can always uh, transfer everything over or you can simply choose not to by selecting don't transfer. And then you want to enter your Apple ID password if you already have one for your iPhone or other iOS devices so you can download apps or you can create a new one for this iPad if you don't want to use that one, which is free to do. You just simply click on this option of don't have or forgot the password. You can reset your password if you forgot your password, create one free as I mentioned, or please come back later and set up in the setting. So I'm just going to simply choose not to, but you need Apple ID in order to download any apps. So make sure you either create one or sign into existing one. The next thing is if you want to automatically have your iPad updated, you just hit continue here. Location services, if you want to use it for different apps that require uh, your GPS location, you want to enable it or you can disable it. doesn't matter. You can always come back and turn it on. Siri, if you want to use Siri, the voice assistant, simply go ahead and select a voice and then go ahead and say the five command that's presented on your screen or you can come back set up later in the settings next thing is siri uh, uh improvement or dictation if you want to share the recording i simply don't but up to you screen time is like a weekly report that you can get of how much time you're spending on it or if this is a child's device you can put a passcode or a screen lock so that they are limited on how much they can use which is a neat feature especially if this is a child's ipad that's going to be you can set that up or you can come back and set it up later in the setting. So I'm just going to click later. I put analytics. If you want to share the analytics with Apple, I simply choose not to, but up to you. Now, if you want light versus dark, there's two options. You can select whatever you prefer. I'll hit continue and then welcome to iPad. Get started. And I'm all set up here, ready to go. The iPad is activated, ready to go for me. As I mentioned, if you didn't uh, sign on to your Apple ID or need to create one, just simply go into your settings and then go ahead either sign in or create one but you'll need Apple ID in order to go ahead to your app store and be able to download any apps it's important that you go ahead and sign into your account if you didn't so you can start downloading apps and use your iPad like you should be able to and there you go all the apps are here you can search it up and go to, or go to all the apps and find your favorite one from there and start downloading and enjoying your iPad and I hope this video is helpful if so, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.